Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this one we're going to be looking at grass, but not this grass that we've made in another tutorial, which is the little ones. We're going to be looking more at a bigger kind, like these ones. Now these ones are made of paper and they are semi-posable because each leaf here has a wire down the centre. Quite easy to make, so let's make one. I have painted a couple second hand pieces of uh, photocopy paper, uh, green, one lighter than the other because one's going to be the top, one's going to be the bottom, and they will sandwich together. Then I took some wire from some electronics like that cable there. From telephone wire is good, uh, preferably a little bit stiffer would be nice, but these are slightly flexible, but they'll do. And I've cut them into strips and so that they're going to go uh, and lengths that are going to go across the paper or if you want them really long you can go lengthwise. With some corn flour paste I'm just going to paste the first edge of that down and then fold it back to about an inch back. Then put some paste on there. Then I will put a piece of wire right on there, then double it over, keeping that reasonably tight and flattening it down so that we're about an inch from the edge, two centimeters from the edge. So fold that paper back again about an inch and then do the next wire until you've got them about an inch spaced apart and then flatten them out and let them dry. When it's dry with a pair of scissors I'm going to cut from point from wide to the point to the next point to the next point to make the leaf shapes. So now I have a good pile of leaves. I'm going to get a dowel or a stick as my base and then on the leaf with some uh, PVA glue is now glue that onto there. Right, wrap that round. It's my first leaf. The next one I'm going to start from where I left off on the last one, wrap it round and try and get it so that it's not in exactly the same place, so it's overlapping. Then the next one you just keep winding them around and around, sticking them on. So there we have one tuft and now I'm going to go for another page and this time the wires run lengthwise so the leaves are going to be a little bit longer. Then as a final touch take a strip of leftover, put some glue on it and secure off that base so that it won't scuff off. Now you can pose those wires so they look spread out a bit more and put it into 